Hey, hey, it's Jackie Hodges, and I encourage you to love the skin that you're in. Well, I'm kicking off something really special this week in uh, honor of Galentine's, Valentine's week, and I have a special um, little tutorial uh, today for you on how to just have a really great, natural, kind of rosy, flushed look for Galentine's Day because since you're in my um, beauty community, you're one of my favorite gals. Hope you enjoy. I'm using CC Cream in Very Light. CC is my favorite complexion correcting, um, lightweight, everyday foundation that does have an SPF 15, a little bit of moisturizer, and just does a lot of correcting of my skin tone, but without the look of a full coverage makeup. I use a medium coverage foundation brush just to blend the CC cream in on my face. I kind of just use like a, a circular buffing motion and um, the bristles are really, really soft. My scent skin doesn't really take to bristles that are very hard in a brush. And so this brush is perfect. I typically always use it with my CC cream foundation. and I just apply it right underneath my eyes you only do just a couple swipes or a couple dots and then right along the edge of my where my nose and my cheek kind of meet and I use a damp beauty blending sponge and just blend that in around my eye area and then right up against my nose it's a little dark right there and so the CC cream makeup is enough that I don't need much concealing anywhere else but under my eye area I like to brighten that just a little bit and this product the weight of this product is nice for me um, because it doesn't add any crepiness to the skin around my eye area and before I started this I had all my skincare already done so I have my eye cream on and moisturizer and primer already on next I'm gonna use use um, our eyeshadow primer and I just put it right on my eyelids and eyeshadow primer um, serves as a base for powder eyeshadows it gives it um, gives the pigment of my eye kind of an even tone and texture and then I am able to apply the eyeshadow and it keeps a, a really nice um, pigment after when it has eye primer on the color we're going to use is called rose gold and rose gold is just a really gentle um, rosy gold color and it's going to be great for this look um, it just has a little bit of, of sheen and shimmer to it it's a nice neutral but it kind of does have that pink gold tone as well another thing about eyeshadow primer is that it keeps your eyeshadow on a really long time and keeps it from creasing Next is our tinted brow gel. Now if you've seen my videos before, you know that this is one of my favorite products. I use Dark Blonde and I just touched this product on my brow hairs. It adds volume and tint and just helps my brows to look smooth. It doesn't fill in, so it doesn't, it fills in, but it doesn't make new brows. It just touches the brow hair that's there. And I feel like eyebrows are so important for women, especially if you wanna lift on your eye, then um, eyebrows, tinted eyebrows or something on your eyebrows just help give your eye an extra lift. Now we're ready for cheek color. This is called Rogue Rose, and um, I just like pat it right along my cheekbone. I have a very prominent cheekbone, so um, every face is different, and I sometimes even use my blush for like a contour, almost just a tad, because my cheekbones are very prominent. Now, you may not be able to do that, and after watching this video after I recorded it, I realized I probably needed to blend my blush just a little bit more, and, um, but... I like it this way, but you may want yours blended a little bit more, or you may prefer just to have it right on the apple of your cheek for this kind of a rosy glow that we're looking for today. This cheek color brush is so perfect. It contours right to your cheekbone. Now, I, um, I like a luminous dewy look, but I like to use translucent powder also to help with blending, especially when I'm do doing this very nice 
natural rosy glow look and so you'll see that I use this powder um, kind of just to soften um, the areas and when I turn my cheek like that you can see that that blush needs blended and you're gonna watch me do that just a little bit more um, but I do say again I kind of like a bold blush even when it's a natural rosy glow color so this might be a little much for you but um it's just kind of my style see i like place it right on um kind of blend it right onto the apple of your cheek that's what you want when you're going for a rosy kind of a, a glowy rosy natural um just kind of flushed look you want that color right on the apple of your cheek so this is our ultimate mascara it's just a really nice everyday mascara it's not super bold i don't have a lot of lashes um and i really noticed it when i <laughs> did this video like after i went back and watched i just like thought to myself i need to switch to lash intensity mascara because it's a bolder more volumizing thickening mascara but the ultimate is what i wear for every day and definitely if i am just you know getting together for a gal visit <laughs> this would be a look um that I would just have on for an everyday visit with a girlfriend and so that's what kind of how this is was geared because Galentine's Day is on Saturday and that might be the day that we just spend some time with some friends now depending on your friend circle you might get super glammed up to get with your girlfriends and um, or you might just want a really natural rosy glow look so hopefully that's what you get from this look I'm gonna blend just a little bit more after I've got my mascara on then I just blend my eyeshadow just a, a tad more now we're ready for the naturally oil I do three drops two or three drops in in the palm of my hand this oil is amazing and you're gonna be interested to, you're gonna it's gonna be interesting for you to see what I do with it I just press this into my cheeks because I want that like glowy dewy really um kind of radiant shiny healthy look right on my cheek that that's a natural like a, that's a natural glow look this is an almond oil product from our naturally line and i if you've never used it you should you should treat yourself it's really amazing i'm just giving myself a little spray a finishing spray just to set the entire look this just keeps your makeup on and fresh for like hours and we'll finish it off with a powerful pink semi matte lipstick and I just do a really light coat and I just kind of press it into my lip and um, rub it in there we also have this shade in lip gloss if you're more of a, a lip gloss girl and so that is just our rosy glow Galentine's Day look and three cheers to you for watching this video and um, for being one of my beauty community gals